Hi, bank, yeah, me again, freeze the damn account. Honestly, I can't not, seriously. Let's just go, let me show you. I love what I've got, and I'm just gonna try it now. Oh my giddy giddy gosh, how the f are you? Seriously, genuine question, honey. What's new, what's hot, what's not? What's the 411, babes? I have been making some purchases, <laughs> not some, purchases. Uh, in fact, I'm going to call the bank in this intro and get them to freeze that account. So, I am going to show you my makeup haul and we're going to try some of it out. And I'm actually quite excited to try it because I haven't yet, but now I can. Here we go, honeys. for some eyebrows, I've got things for eyes, I've got more things for eyes, I've got things for face, I've got brushes, let's go. To start with, I've got a couple of primers. I don't know um, how good they are or how not they are, but I've got a pink one as well, and I've kind of tested the consistency. It's kind of pink. <laughs> this one kind of looks like a tinted one. I thought it was clear, if I'm honest. It's Studio Face Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. From Maybelline and the other one is again face studio prime but it's an illuminating illuminating primer which I think might be able to help color correct but um we're not doing that today we're not really going there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put half and half on um just to see how she lasts and how she holds up and see which one's kind of better I think it's gonna be that one I don't know we're gonna have a look I think it's going to end up being this one because she does have that pink tint. Probably got far too much there for her face, but I couldn't get this. Has this got SPF in it because she's scented? She, I, okay, she's scented, but whatever. Next, I had to get myself a big powder brush. I didn't have to, I kind of wanted to. A colossal powder brush because I've been using this one um, to do obviously all the powdering of the face and I've been using this one to do my blusher because I love teeny tiny building a brusher. I feel like it really pulls the face together. It's my favorite part of getting ready. However, I've taken to doing this because you know, it's right. So I needed another powder brush to do all of the translucent and stuff like that. So I've got this, so I'm happy about that. Next, I had to get me a new purple glue stick for said eyebrows because if you notice I don't really set them a lot and um, it turns out I had the wrong glue but I did also purchase to go along with that some alcohol spray this is not just alcohol spray it's ISO something it is ISO something um, ISO Pro Pill I'm gonna put that on the screen because I'm not saying that right ISO Pro Pill ISO Pro Pill ISO Pro Pill it says sanitizer on the front and when it arrived I was a bit like hmm hmm Hmm? And it's apparently something that you can clean like your brushes with if you're using brushes on multiple people. It's a sanitizer, right? Sanitizer. But it needed to be the isopropyl alcohol, which you go and you clean out and takes out all the oil, and that is what it does. And then you can put the glue on, and that's what it does, and set. So I'm going to quickly now um, do that. I'm going to set them with some translucent, and then I'm going to use my foundation, and we're going to move forward. Okay, tea time. So it kind of worked but it was also kind of not, and it's getting worse, and let me tell you for why. So the spray works perfectly. Great. The glue, perfect. You know, the layers, and then you put on your powder, and then you put on your layers, and then you might color correct if you want to, which I'm not going to, and I'm gonna tell you why, but still, it was all going so well until that foundation went on. And then I thought, hmm, I've got a lighter shade foundation. I'm gonna pop that on that's gonna help color correct, like kind of conceal them out a little bit, and get a nice base for the eye. Well. That experiment is messed up because it's, or the oil in that lighter shade foundation is already cracking the glue and oil breaks down glue. But we're going to move on and we're going to plow through. I guess that can be my lesson of the day to not use that lighter shade foundation when putting on the glue. We're going to move on to some eyes, right? So I've got a couple of things for eyes here. This palette, oh, almost lost my train of thought, this palette from Revolution is from one of their ranges called Colorbook and they've got like a color story of all blues, of all greens, of all warm tones and da 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 and this is all of their black and white. Now plastic, it's all plastic so I don't really endorse this at all uh, but there's a plastic partition to keep the two sides separate. One is all matte 
One is all shimmer. I'm kind of living for it. Now, I'm not gonna use this in this video because I wanna do a completely separate, not kind of a review as such, but kind of like, how does it wear? And are any of the shades like exactly the freaking same? Because I can't get in now, I can't get in it. Because I think a lot of these might be the same. I don't know yet, but yeah, that's gonna be a separate video. So let's put that to one side. Moving on to eye products that I am gonna be using in this video is, this is the first one, this teeny tiny, oh, the plastic partition's just falling out. Teeny tiny, totally adorable palette here. I got this from Wilco, right? Uh, it's like a fiver. Um, there's three, I've not said the prices of anything else. I'm gonna list the prices underneath. Oops, whoopsie. Um, there's three matte shades, and then the rest are like a shimmer, kind of a foil effect. I swatched the blue, and it's cute. Uh, we're gonna put that onto there. I only got this for a bit of fun, because it was cheap. I thought, give it a go, and it looks really Christmassy. Not sure about that. I think it's trying to be a gold, but it looks more like a kind of tangerine orange. But we'll have a look, and to go alongside that, this is something I will be using um, more often than not. From Morphe, it's the color, Zero, zero, yeah, C0.00, a lot of zeros. Apparently, it's white here, right? You can apparently use it as a cut crease, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, something I have noticed, though, is it stinks. Like, not, it's pungent. It's not stinky, it's pungent. And I don't know what it smells like. It almost smells like Tipex or something like that. However, we're gonna have a little bit of a play now with them. So I'm gonna lay down a quick eyebrow, hopefully it goes right, and then we're gonna just see how these look. All in all, that red so far is not it for me, but we might be able to save her with one of the shimmers. Gonna go in with the Morphe 0.00 whatever concealer, the white. Let's just call it the white, thank you. Um, I'm gonna take off all of the excess product because I've not even swatched this. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're just gonna be brave. We're gonna be brave and we're gonna do this together. Okay, not mad at her yet. Hi. Yes, okay, yes. So yeah, um, I didn't go back in for any more product. I wiped off everything and then did that. Um, but what I am a little bit, oh my gosh, about is the applicator is now red. So I'm just gonna give that a wipe. Um, So I went ahead, there's dogs barking. These things are sent to try me. These things are a test of character. Okay, so I did jump ahead quite a few steps and I am living for how everything looks. I mean, that eyeshadow, not all right, but the rest, I mean, with a lash and a cheek, I love a cheek, and I've got three colors on the lips, living for all of it. One more final purchase, I promise. So I did have a tester from Benefit for the eyebrows, and it's, I think it just looks like a little, I've just dropped it on the floor. It looks like a little, uh, this, say, what's that called? It looks like that on the end. Uh, it's teeny tiny, but it's brown. I was gonna put that on to see how it looked, but obviously I've got no brows at the moment. So we'll do that when we do the color book, all blacks and whites uh, video. However, my final purchase is from Give, Give Face Cosmetics. Jeez, I'm so excited I can't even speak. Now I have got some artist brushes, right? Don't know if they're the right brushes that I need, but I got Bam, bam, and bam! Let's have a look at these, because I'm really excited. So the first one, this color, I cannot wait. I mean, bam, let's look at the colors. Seriously, yes. I've never used anything like these before, and I genuinely don't know how to use them. <laughs> but I'm really excited to do it. Oh, artist 
artist going on this face, Christine the artist, because um, I'm so excited that I've not just got one, I've not just got two, but I've got three. And look at all those colours. I'm going to figure out how to use these properly, uh, the best techniques, the best brushes, even if these aren't the right brushes, I'm going to use them anyway because I've got them and that is it I just wanted to finish off my beauty haul in this video and I'm yeah bitch bash bosh she's got a full face on let's go take some photos and have a great time now that completes my makeup haul my honeys I'm seriously so excited about getting stuck into these and seeing what looks I can come up with on this mug of mine I'll put over here my Instagram and my Facebook Feel free to go slip into those DMs, honey. That's approved. I will always show you love and support in return. If you are not currently subscribed to this channel, why the heck not? Go and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you can be informed every time I make a new upload. So until the next video, my loves, keep safe, keep well, and ciao for now.